Hi Collective, it's Natalie here getting ready to do a message for you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. Alright, so happy Monday for everyone. Let's get some messages out for you guys today. I'm going to be reading for Aquarius and Pisces after this, so stay tuned. If you have Aquarius or Pisces in your chart, I do have to get those readings out. Um, also, if you're new here, keep in mind that these readings uh, may or may not resonate for everyone out there. So please take uh, the messages with a grain of salt, all right? Unless you know for sure that something here definitely resonates for you, okay? Um, also, keep in mind that I am doing personals. If you needed a personal, um, you're more than welcome to email me. My email is in the description box below for you down there, along with everything else you need to know about this reading. Thank you guys for your positive insight, um, your notifications, your comments, your likes, subscribes. And all that other good stuff, your donations, nothing goes unnoticed, okay? So let's get a message from you guys. All right, from the Divine Circus Oracle cards that I have here. I barely use them, but I wanted to start using them. All right, let's see. What is the energy right now for my collective? What is the energy right now for my collective? What is the message right now for my collective? I was hearing something about uniqueness. Yeah, I feel like uh, people can't get their eyes off you because you're so unique. But this is giving me more like um, you guys aren't comfortable with the with the attention right now. So I'm, I'm channeling into a person that is um, uncomfortable with good and bad attention, like both attention. Period. Um, I'm picking up maybe like hermit energy. Someone here is not comfortable with all eyes being on them. All right, let's see. Let me get a card, please, for the collective. Right now, what is the message? This could be at work. All right. So we have two cards that came out. We have Supernova. Yeah, I was getting something, like, very different about you guys, but something very powerful. I'm going to read about what that says in a minute. And then we have Sweetheart here. All right. Um, all right. I, I'm already getting a message right now. It looks like it looks like you guys are like very kind hearted. I'm getting like your kindness can be your superpower. Is that why you're, you're being called the supernova right now? Let's see what that means here. It's number eight. Hmm. Okay, so it says Something in you needs to be unleashed. This is not quiet and steady growth, but more like a wild explosion of creative energy and sacred fire. The sparks the sparks your rapid growth will create shall ignite your body, mind, and soul, inspiring you to expand even beyond what you believe possible. Your light will shine far and wide. You cannot control it, but you can trust it. So it's giving me vibes of like... um. People are wondering why you have a certain power, right? And, but you don't even know why you have this certain power, which is why you might not be aware of it. There's something about you that's very, like, you can't put your finger on it, is what I'm getting. Or other people can't put their finger on it, but you're just very powerful, all right? Uh, I'm also getting vibes of, like, you guys feel like you aren't supposed to be here. Like, maybe you guys came from a different planet. Let's read what uh, Sweetheart means. It looks pretty self-explanatory, but let's see what it means. Um, number 20. Mm -mm 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 -mm. all right so it says you've known violence in your life maybe on the outside maybe on the inside with a mind that has tortured you with fear shame darkness and doubt enough of that now it's time for a gentler way less pain more gain no more torture it's your time for sweets and treats yeah okay yeah so okay i'm gonna read also what this means because it's the last card here at the bottom but spirit is saying that you guys are very powerful and you guys are, maybe you had, get, was taken advantage of in a way. I'm hearing that. But you guys are like sweethearts. It's like no matter what you guys have been through, you're always in this sweetheart energy. And I feel like the ancestors want to gift you with something. But maybe you could be in the energy of not really accepting it because you just feel like life is all about fighting. There's no more, there's no more energy of fighting anymore. Spirit does not want you guys to be fighting anymore, okay? It's time for you guys to be blessed. It's time for you guys to be gifted. I'm also hearing it's time for you guys to inherit something here. 
So something here will be given to you guys. I feel like because you're in the sweetheart energy, you can carry it. You have the responsibility. You can carry this responsibility, okay? Um, let's read what the Gypsy Colobine means. Um, 38. All right, Gypsy Colobine. All right, so it says, the free spirit in you is rewilding itself, shedding social conditioning and past patterns of behavior. It is shaking off socialization and emerging anew like a snake shedding a skin. The wild one within isn't a savage. It is raw, yes, but also wise, authentic, beautiful, and with a deep instinctive knowing as to what you must be. Can a bird ever truly be happy while trying to be a fish? True freedom is to be truthfully yourself, okay? Yeah, like I'm saying, it's you guys have to be comfortable in your power. You guys are very, very different. Like, I'm, I'm getting this energy like it. there's nothing. I'm also hearing like a surprise is coming for you guys. There's some sort of surprise around the corner here. And you just have to really trust it. I'm also getting like something here in your life right it's just letting you be free within yourself live in your authenticity you guys are creating your own lane and it's like it's your birthright or it's something that's supposed to be happening that's the vibe that i'm getting here and what it said about the you know um a bird trying to be a fish you can't be like other people it's just not in your character. It's not in your nature. It's like a bird trying to be a fish or a fish trying to be a bird or an animal trying to be another animal. It's just not going to work out. It's like you are what you are. You can't stop your your habitat, your environment. Or it's just something like spirit isn't forcing you guys to adapt right now. Even though you guys could be very much adaptable. I'm, I'm hearing that you guys have the power to adapt. But spirit is saying you thrive in energy that is of your environment. Okay? So I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Spirit is saying it's okay. Like you don't have to force yourself to be something that you're not. I'm hearing you don't have to force yourself to be violent. You're just not violent. It's okay to not be a violent person. Okay, so I'm speaking to someone that could be like influenced to be violent, but it's just not in you to be violent. You're in the sweetheart energy, but it's because you're a star seed. You're a... Um, you're one of God's children. It's not in you to work out of darkness, and that's okay. A lot of you may be feeling incompetent because maybe you're, like, slow to anger, but that's not sinful. It's actually very holy to be, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't use the word holy, but it, it actually be, it would actually benefit you to um, be slow to anger. A lot of people don't have that quality to where they're slow to anger. A lot of people are in that impulsive power, you know controlling addictive codependent energy and you guys just aren't that and there's nothing wrong with you because you guys don't want to be that energy it's just not in you to be that you're the sweetheart i'm hearing something about um if you if you ever seen the powerpuff girls there's blossom bubbles and buttercup you guys are bubbles and there's nothing wrong with being bubbles it's like you'll fight the bad guys but it's it's more like you guys are, you're needed for your compassion and kindness. Okay, so we have step up and lead, new moon and Capricorn. A lot of people are watching you because I feel like you guys are in the energy of becoming a leader. I feel like a lot of people are watching you um, in this energy, but you have to do it with compassion. I don't know why compassion is, it could be your superpower. All right, what else, please? Um, know your worth, new moon and Taurus. And then we have take inspired action. There's also something that you guys need to be doing right now. All right. Yeah, be real, full moon and Aquarius. Don't be afraid to be, of being that alien. Trust the universe. Open up the change and open up to someone being authentic. And don't be afraid to shine, too. So there's a certain way that you're supposed to be shining, but not in the energy of, like, um, anger or malice or not even competition. I, I feel like there's just no competition for you guys. It, it's like you guys are alone in your own lane. And you guys are very different. People see you as 
someone that's very powerful alone look loneliness i know that i'm never alone even when you are alone you're never alone that could also be your super superpower then we have failure here i understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn and trust i accept that my inner voice will guide me correctly adversity and success yeah okay so it's like if people try to attack you they'll automatically get because you guys are just never alone so people try to attack you they get attacked even if you don't want them to be attacked yeah it, it's because you guys you guys have ancestors that don't play about you guys so you could be much in the sweetheart energy i'm hearing you guys are praying for your enemies like heavily there's something going on with your enemies right now and you don't want it to happen to them because it's like your spirit you're telling spirit is too much or they don't deserve that but spirit thinks that they do but you only think that way because of your kind heart okay so i'm speaking to someone that like maybe has a cancer north node or cancer moon we have karma here there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life yeah spirit said that these people have to deal with their karma it really has nothing to do with what you say here we have extraordinary there's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored yeah because they're saying they should have honored you whoever these people were they should have honored you that's why they're going through this karma and spirit is not letting up on them they have to learn a lesson yeah they're going through grief right now tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts so it's like you are triggering people's heart chakra all right it's like what whatever you've been through either it's um people are watching you guys and they're learning from it and they're like wow what whatever that person went through because they're just a, such a nice person they didn't deserve to go through it but it's like making me change or something like that someone here's changed by what you've been through okay and i'm also hearing something like people are just some people have watched you go through something and now they're going to watch you get blessed they're going to watch you do something that most people aren't doing or aren't allowed to do or it's like you guys definitely broke a barrier you set the bar in a certain way by not being angry by not being impulsive by not being competitive that's why people see you as a supernova like oh they're not from here it's like you guys act like you're not from here or something it's like you guys are extremely unique people don't know what to say about that but they're going to be receiving karma for this all right and you guys are going to be receiving good karma i thought my intentions were good i was tricked so this seems like people that were calling evil good and good evil yeah because how how is this going to be evil with a sweetheart energy it's like you guys are you can't get enough of being sweet you even attract these these bees to you it's like you may be like you may be attracting insects or something like that or bees when you go outside because of how sweet you are or like you attract animals nature it's like everyone could be attracted to your sweet nature hmm. and it's not going unnoticed to you know your ancestors it's like they're going to make sure that something here happens for you even if even if like, i'm yeah one of the cards said that even if you can't even control it Whatever you're being blessed with, you can't even control it. So if people are being jealous of you, it's they're not working against you. They're working against the ancestors or the God that has given you these blessings. It's like they can't, they have to be careful because now you're no longer their enemy. It's like the divine is. We have spiritual tribe here. Like you guys are attracting your spiritual tribe. Commitment issues is out here. I feel like you guys are triggering someone's commitment issues or someone here is looking at their commitment issues to their spiritual tribe. So someone here had a spiritual tribe and they weren't committed to it or something like that. Or you were this person's spiritual tribe, but they didn't want to commit. You are a part of someone's, you're supposed to be someone's friend. Okay. Who else please for the collective? Okay, so we have friends and family influence. Whatever is happening here or whatever has happened with this person with commitment issues, it was their friends and family convincing them to do this. 
Look, I'm a dark witch or I know one, okay? So someone here had family members or friends around them that influenced them in a very dark way, okay? Now, these people might say, for the cross watcher, for those of you who are checking up on, you know, me or uh, the collective right now, you may say that this person was actually dark, but how are they dark when spirit is all already saying that this person came off as a sweetheart? How are they dark when they weren't in the energy of gossiping or manipulating things behind the scenes for competition like if if this was spiritual court they would win and you would lose type energy because they weren't in the energy of, of being malicious in any way shape or form so how are they how are they dark i feel like someone here tried to reverse something onto you we have serious decision here uh what do you give someone that has everything yeah, okay, and then we have sibling rivalry out here. We also have fake friends want your place, universal truth. I know the truth, I know who you are, and my friends are secretly jealous of us. Yeah, there's something about friends here is very important to this person. Okay, so I'm also getting that, like, because this person was heavily influenced by friends or family members that were jealous of you, it caused you to be isolated here. Um, but, but while you were isolated, you had your hidden knowledge, your ancient knowledge with you. There's things about you that, you know, you just know already, right? Someone here wants to send you love letters and messages, but someone here is also playing mind games. Someone says that we live too far. It's hard to be in contact with you. So someone here could be at a distance from you. Okay. Um, also I'm getting something about, uh, spiritually, someone here feels spiritually distanced from you. But there's some sort of universal truth that came out about some fake friends that want your place. So, however that may resonate for you. Yeah, because they were secretly jealous of you guys. I'm also getting like they were secretly jealous of this person too. So, it's like this person let these people ruin their perception of you. But it was a lie. It was all a lie. They were tricked out of jealousy. And they also had commitment issues of themselves like by themselves even before you they had commitment issues and these people literally triggered that um even worse for them clarify spiritual tribe for the collective i fantasize about you i am happy that it's over in the reverse so this person isn't sure if you're happy um, if the situation is over, but they do fantasize about you because they're rem remembering that you were in their spiritual tribe. I'm getting also someone here is having dreams here. Clarify commitment issues. Why is commitment issues here, please, for the collective? Commitment issues, thank you. We have, I wondered how far this would go. And then we have, we are more alike than I admit. So someone here wants to commit to you, but they wondered how far it would go before they wouldn't have to commit. Is that, that's the energy that I'm getting here? Because I feel like you, you definitely either turned your back on this person or you showed this person your worth or you tapped into your own self-worth and you were like, no, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be putting up with someone here that has commitment issues. And they're realizing that they can't do that anymore, but they're also wondering what do they give you? What, what should they give you? So someone here tried to test you. Through their own commitment issues i'm also getting like i'm also getting like someone here feels like if you guys are committed or if you guys do plan on committing they wondered how far it would go for you guys so that's their fear um someone here doesn't believe in long-term commitment clarify friends and family influence for the collective Friends and family are making them doubt this. That's why they're they're thinking about this a lot. I am not coming back. Okay. You guys cannot be going back to this person. Clarify that again. I'm not coming back. Uh, you are not part of my plan. Yep. Okay. So someone here is trying to... Look, I know I made a mistake is here. So this is someone that you definitely distance yourself from. They got insight from friends and family influence. This person cares a lot what people think and i'm also getting something about sibling a sibling is in the middle of this they can't come back because a sibling is jealous now clarify serious decision serious decision please uh i do wish you well 
So it's like this person knows that they can't. Okay, so this person is realizing, yes, you're very extraordinary. You're very different. You are a sweetheart. They do apologize maybe for like attacking you or believing in something that wasn't true. But at the same time, they do feel like they can't come back towards you because it's like you guys are like too different or they feel like they've done too much because they do wish you well now. But in the past, they, they couldn't make a serious decision. Someone here was like very um, getting a lot of Gemini energy or a lot of air energy. This person was too much in their head and they ended up ruining the connection. Clarify, what do you give someone that has everything for the collective? What do you give someone that has everything? Okay, so we have, I've been here before with others. So this person has also have done this with other people. Yeah, this person likes to play a lot of mind games. They play games with you. Clarify sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry. They also let their siblings or sibling get in the middle of their um, relationships a lot. Clarify sibling rivalry, please, for the collective. Yes, it is too late. All right, so this is confirmation. Their sibling got in the way of this. I wish you would come back. So they want you to come back, but it's like they don't want. All right. So, yeah, definitely confirmation here. They've been here before with others. I feel like they want to explain themselves uh, through this reading, but there's really nothing to explain here. This person does want to communicate with you. They're going to say something, though. I'm getting a lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas energy they do want to apologize but they could be afraid or they're like hidden behind the scenes oh yeah they're afraid nine of swords and the moon out here they wonder what you would say or oh, this person's karma is to like watch you i'm feeling like this person's gonna watch you yeah we have the empress out here with the king of wands so this person is very intrigued by your energy yeah it's like you have all this good energy around you materials I mean, doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be materials, but it's like you guys are the closest to God. You're the Empress, all right. You guys are very protected on your throne. Someone is just watching you. They're watching you progress out here. Could be a Cancer that's involved. Okay, I'm also getting something about uh, traveling. You guys could be traveling. This person's like on your trail. This person could just be like watching you through social media or something like that because they definitely have their eyes on you. But I feel like you just don't notice them because you're too busy in your Empress energy up right here. All right, let's see what else, please, for the collective. They're also witnessing you make progress in your life. They feel like you're moving away from them. Yeah, six of wands out here, gaining a lot of success, attention. Five of swords, someone here could be like watching you um, in envy, trying to block something or hold you back. I'm also getting like someone here is watching them. Someone here is watching them watch you. So they're like trying to hold this person back or be defensive. Something about money, something about family out here. Because I feel like someone here is trying to work with you. I'm also getting something about... I'm also getting something about if they continue to wait, you're going to you're gonna be like really, really far away from them. I feel like this is already what's going on here. You're too favored. It's like you're too blessed to even be worried about what this King of Wands energy is doing right now. All right. What else, please, for the collective? So definitely someone sees you as this beautiful Empress energy. We have the Moon card here and the King of Swords. Who is this King of Swords energy? Someone here seems deceptive. I, yeah, okay, there's the Queen of Wands. All right, thank you, Spirit. So someone here got in the middle of a connection. Two of Cups, yeah, with the devil, wow. So, okay, yeah, someone here turned a lover's connection very toxic. Whoever this King of Wands or this King of Swords energy is, it seems like someone here manipulated truth or hid something about the truth. Also getting something about like hiding, um, hiding something really bad. Someone here also has mental issues with the moon and the king of swords. They don't even know what truth is. Okay, they don't even, they probably, I don't know, maybe they live in truth, maybe they don't, but I'm reading all my cards upright. I feel like someone here just has hidden motives. 
I don't feel like it's this King of Wands energy, though. I feel like the King of Wands is distracted. I heard the word distracted by you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. There's, wow, there's like four people in this reading so far. You guys could be like an independent, a very independent person out here. Someone here is trying to hold someone back to collaborate with them. Or a family. I'm hearing stick to the plan. Something about sticking to the plan. So was there some sort of plot or hidden motive right here? And someone here wanted to like... Someone here is not sticking to the plan anymore. I feel like someone here is just like... They're distracted by you. They can't stick to the plan. Someone here is like intrigued by your energy they're intrigued by the fact that everyone is attracted to you or something let me get one more please for the collective then we'll clarify yeah the queen of wands she came out again you guys this could be another female we're going to clarify all these so i know then we have the king of or i'm sorry the knight of cups out here so yeah someone here does want to send you a message i do see that they want to apologize or something out here I feel like you're a lot of queens in one because you are coming off as this empress energy. Someone wants this person to stick to the plan, though. It could be one of these females or it could be this man here. I'm getting Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Fire, Earth, Libra, Taurus. Tell me about the empress. Oh, the empress is the high priestess. Okay, so the reason why this empress is sitting here because she knows exactly what's going on. This empress is tapped in. She's following her intuition. She gets all her messages. She gets all her downloads by herself. I'm guessing if you're a tarot card reader or if you are a spiritualist in any way, you don't really need any divination tools to know what the heck is going on here. Look, the empress is right here. So the empress doesn't want these people to know that she knows what's going on. Page of Pentacles out here and she's very sweet. Wow. Okay, so she gives offers. Okay, there's some sort of information that she has. Wow, the Empress came out again. Okay. And tell me more about that Page of Pentacles. You guys could be hiding a pregnancy or hiding... Well, not really hiding it. You're just being quiet about it. You're being mature. It's like a secret. It could be an Earth sign child, okay? Um, Picking up Virgo or Capricorn. Clarify the uh, Page of Pentacles for the collective. Yeah, okay, so we have strength out here. A lot of resilience. You guys have a lot of resilience and you guys are always ready to learn or you're always ready to do something here. It's, some, it's just something here just can't hold you back. All right, so someone here is trying to hold you back. I'm picking up Pisces and Leo again. But they can't. I feel like you, your intuition is too strong or what you... I feel like you get jewels from... Um, the ethers, you get uh, jewels from the spiritual realm when you need them, exactly when you need them. You don't go searching for them. It's like they drop in your lap. The info that you need drops into your lap or it's like that type of energy. It's like whatever you do for your job or whatever creative energy that you need for your job, it's like it just, it, it pops up in your head. It's like you don't have to try for something. You're getting something that you didn't have to try for. Or it just looks that way. Clarify the King of Wands for the collective. So someone here is watching you because I feel like someone here is like ready to get up and come after you. We have the Nine. Wow. Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Devil, and the Five of Cups. This person is going through it right now. Could be a Capricorn. Not really getting Capricorn, but I feel like this person has addictions or toxicity around them. Someone here is mad that something here just didn't work or it's like they're in a lot of despair right now and a lot of regret and stressed out. Nine of Wands, they tried something over and over again. So this King of Wands is actually not good energy. Why is the devil here? Clarify this devil for the collective. Yeah, the Five of Swords. They have bad intentions, maybe on your money or something like that. But you have this leadership role or something like that. And this person wanted to attack that. This person thought that they could attack your leadership role or go against the rules or work around commitment. When it comes to you, you're a very solid, faithful person. They can't work around commitment. I feel like they're mad also that your, your intuition is just too strong for whatever that they're doing here. 
and it's because this person may be trying to do it again whatever they're doing here they want to do it again that's what i'm getting here because i'm getting the nine of wands this person may have some mental issues or like they just have problems with themselves i'm not getting love from this king of wands at all i'm getting more stress i'm getting mental issues i'm getting bad dreams sociopath i'm getting envy from them too addictions all right, clarify uh, the chariot here. Clarify chariot here, please, for the collective. Hmm. Ten of swords, four of pentacles, and the ace of wands with the two of swords. So it's like their plan is foiled, I'm getting. It's like they feel betrayed because you're holding back your energy. I'm hearing you're also holding back your sexual energy and you're moving away from them. So I'm also getting like you, you're, you're distracted also by your goals. Why the Ace of Wands? It's like there's something that you're excited about. Three of Swords and the Fool card. Yeah, this person is, they feel betrayed. They feel heartbroken because you know how to start brand new. Ten of Pentacles is what you're manifesting out here. Eight of Swords and the Magician. This person wanted you to be like stuck or worried about your finances or like trapped when it came to your finances. This person maybe try to do some sort of money magic on you. I feel like now they're going to be stuck in that energy because I feel like they're like in the two of pentacles, four of pentacles, juggling their finances or they wanted you to be this way. I'm also getting like there was a plan to like hurt you. Someone maybe. I'm getting like someone here is intrigued by you. They're in awe of you. They're surprised. Like there's something here that they didn't expect to happen, but it's still like they're gonna they're gonna keep trying. Clarify the six of wands. So it's like a love hate relationship with this person. Six of wands, please, for the collective. You're very successful. Ten of wands, five of cups, and the knight of swords. They don't like it. Seven of Pentacles. Someone does not like it. Someone here is like extremely evil. I'm getting also woulda, coulda, shoulda energy with the Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups out here. Because you have a lot of attention towards you or you got a lot of options out here. Yeah, someone here definitely should have known better. They, I'm getting like, what, definitely woulda, coulda, shoulda energy. Now they're like carrying a bunch of burdens. They're in regret. They're mad. They could be gossiping or trying to gossip to the public here about you. It's only because they're burdened. I feel like people see that. It's out in the open that this person is in this energy. I feel like people see this. I feel like this person is holding a secret. Tell me about the knight of the king of swords. The king of swords. This is that cold, bitter energy, but clarify the king of swords. For the collective. Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Queen of Pentacles. This person thinks that they're better than you. Tell me more about that Emperor. King of Wands. And the Queen of Wands? This is a third party. This is a third party that knows the King of Wands. It could be their father. It could be like a big brother or something like that. Because I, I do see siblings here. Someone's trying to mess with someone's work. Or I'm hearing someone say they worked really hard to try. They worked so hard to do this. So it's like, I don't know. It's like, I'm also like, I'm getting, I'm getting stick to the plan. Something about sticking to the plan. These people worked really hard on trying to cause chaos to your life. They were being really strategic about it. Someone here worked too hard to put this King of Wands in some sort of like lustful energy. It's like this King of Wands doesn't have a mind of their own. So they got influenced by a friend or a family member. And whoever's influenced them put a lot of work into this. I feel like they mastered or they beat this King of Wands energy. They're ahead of this King of Wands energy now because of what they did to this person. So now that they're ahead of this King of Wands energy, they're like, okay... And the secrets are out too. So this per this King of Wands knows what's being done to them. But they're still not coming forward towards you. Or trying to be in the energy of becoming more mature. Tell me more. Um, 
this actually tells me a lot right here with the king of swords energy i feel like this king of wands is fighting with this emperor because the secret is out but it's like they're in a lot of stress and distraught and it's like they're mad at themselves more than anything but they still can't come towards you because now that now that they were they were easily distracted by somebody or something could be a friend or family member while they were doing that you were moving forward and making progress and now they can't come towards you it's like they're they're spiritually just not on your level anymore clarify the moon clarify the moon please for the collective holy spirit and angels this person does get easily distracted temperance three of pentacles and the moon card with the ten of cups your your ancestors are behind you i'm getting like this three of pentacles looks like family that you're working with behind the scenes that people don't see or can't see okay the moon is also deception i do feel like there was a collaboration being done on you behind the scenes on an earth angel because the temperance is out here uh pisces sagittarius energy but i'm also getting like you are tapped in or you're collaborating with your spiritual tribe or your ancestors they're working for you out here people can't see them or it's just like i'm getting 440 you may see 440 a lot um they're conspiring to work for you they're conspiring a plan the Ten of Cups out here with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like they're help. It's like you got a gang of people helping you, help pushing you forward or help making you go forward or something. Tell me more about the Moon because it just did it again. Clarify the Moon, please. Tell me more about that Moon. You have a lot of patience, or these people are so psycho that they have patience in believing that something here is going to work for them. Because I am getting someone here with a mental issue. Because I'm hearing someone is just sticking to the plan. They don't, yeah, mental issue. The King of Swords came out. They feel like something here, yeah, look, wow. The Empress, the Five of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Eight of Wands. They feel like as long as they keep doing this to you, which is going to be really bad on their part because we have the Empress out here, the Queen of Cups, they're doing it to someone that's a sweetheart. If they keep doing this, they're going to be in the Five of Pentacles. I don't feel like these people care, though. I don't feel like this person cares. Some of you definitely has mental issues in believing that something here is going to keep working or or keep going in their favor. I don't feel like it's your person. I feel like it's who your person is attached to. And the other person is like, well, I'm just going to accept the defeat that I can't be with this person because I'm attached to lower level entities or I'm attached to low vibrational people. And I feel like someone here is accepting their karma. But someone else here is like, I'm, if I go down, they're going to go down with me. This empress is going to go down with me. Clarify the moon. So someone here doesn't want to fight with you anymore. They're, I feel like they're getting tired of fighting with you. All they can do is sit back and be jealous. But there's another entity out here or another energy out here that's going to keep trying to fight with you. Because they have a prideful energy. It seems masculine to me. Clarify the moon. And they may know each other. So these people may be teamed up and collaborated and someone else is backing out of the collaboration. Yeah, the Knight of Cups here and the Fool. Oh, thank you, Spirit. So it's, it's this energy that was manipulated that wants to hide the fact that they want to come towards you and bring you an offer. They want a clean slate. They're hiding it from people. Yeah, Seven of Swords. It's like they're trying to get away with getting all their wishes fulfilled and and celebrating with you it's going to cause a lot of like it's going to cause like shocking epiphanies to other people it's like it's going to cause tower moments to everybody else that this person wants to move forward if their friends and family are involved but i don't know i feel like this person has to hide it clarify uh the queen of pentacles who's this queen of pentacles please for the collective This Queen of Pentacles seems focused on something. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, Holy Spirit and Angels for the collective. Six of Swords, King of Swords, and the Knight of Wands, and the freaking King of Cups. You have two people coming towards you. 
You have two people coming towards you when you're not noticing. Why the... Okay. Okay, Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're also getting something. Someone here is delivering something to you. Bringing you something, a blessing. I'm also getting like you're attracting people to you by your cold nature. It's like, it's not that you're being cold. You're just very focused on your life right now. And you're attracting abundance your way or you're attracting people. Someone here is going after you. So it's like wherever you're going, this person is following you. They want to follow your path or they want to be on your path. Okay, I'm picking up off of a few people. So bear with me here. It's like there's like three energies here in this reading. Someone wants to be on your side. Someone sees you in a peaceful mindset. And it's like it's making them like excited. They're like, oh my God, they're actually going on the path of righteousness. They're actually going on the path of all the blessings. I'm following them. They have that ace of pentacles on their side. And they might come to you as the ace of wands, but I'm, I'm getting there's someone here that they don't have bad intentions, but they may come off pretty young minded. Okay. Someone here, I feel like you're around the people that aren't smart. You're around people that aren't necessarily smart or that powerful is what I'm getting here. But they want to tag along as if they are. Clarify the king of, or the queen of wands out here. Clarify the queen of wands out here, please, for the collective, Holy Spirit, and angels. Who's this queen of wands? It could be this dark witch that they know. Six of wands, the star. No, this is you guys. And the seven of pentacles with judgment out here. You guys have Archangel Michael behind you. I mean, sorry, that's Archangel Gabriel. Um, Something here was delayed in your past. And I feel like it was like, I don't know. I feel like things were just working in your favor without you noticing it or it being seen. But it's here for you. Seven of pentacles, a star, and the six of wands. Whatever you guys are manifesting here, it's it's like fame, fortune, popularity. Something that you guys weren't focused on. You guys are too busy focusing on your pentacles. You guys are too busy focusing on growing your garden. You guys are too busy maybe investing on fixing your life. And this has gotten you like a lot of attention. Um fame healing okay someone here just doesn't like that or you may have a female around you that's trying to switch from being a dark witch to a light witch now and she doesn't know how to do that I, that's what i'm getting with the knight of wands energy i feel like she's just like very um reckless or she just rushes to the next best thing or something like that you may attract a friend or someone that you thought was a bad person now they all of a sudden they want to be good I feel like you don't have to do anything. You just have to rest in your life right now. It's like you don't have to do much. Things are coming towards you. People are coming towards you. We have dedication and moon cycles. Someone here is dedicated to doing something every moon cycle. Also, I'm getting something about you guys. Have an altar. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, Witch's Cottage, security. You guys have all the security in the world right now. You guys have all your angels surrounding you. And we have balance here too. Like I said, it's it's like things are definitely falling in your lap or I feel like you guys just don't have anything to worry about. Like what can I say for your guys' energy? Absolutely nothing because it's like you guys are protected. Protect, protection doesn't necessarily mean that great things always happen for you, but it also means that nothing bad can happen to you either. So it's like you guys are just in this energy of... of a lot of protection divine protection and i feel like they were protecting you from these people there was some sort of plan over your life i'm also getting here someone here is fighting with a a father figure over you and they're mad about this father figure they're mad that this person here has put them under some sort of like illusion or mind control or wasn't telling them something here we have healer here you guys are healed or you guys are a healer when people come around your home they get healed yeah some a lot of people respect you guys for your healing nature um let's use these what else is the energy please for the collective right now holy spirit and angels oh you know what spirit said use my Alice in Wonderland. I'll use my Alice in Wonderland. Clarify healer. Ho 
Holy Spirit and angels. Someone here does want to fix things, but I don't know. I feel like whoever, I feel like both of these men have mental issues, to be honest with you, but I don't know. Clarify healer, please. They both have mental issues for even planning on you guys like this or plotting on you guys. We have wake up at your moment and learning to create what you desire the right way. So you guys are doing what, whatever you guys are doing right now, you're doing it the right way. Um, this is your moment, basically. Some people didn't have the same choices as you have, or it's like something about your choices. You make the right choices. You're never really stuck when it comes to making the right choices. Clarify security for the collective, Holy Spirit and angels. Okay. So we have belong to your own dream, create your own life. You guys are safe to create your own life. It's like nothing here can really mess with your dreams. Okay. Spirit said, as long as you make sure that they stay your dreams, don't tell anybody your dreams. Keep them safe. Keep your dreams secured. Okay. And tell them when, when you're ready to tell them, but... Other than that, unless you haven't correctly manifested the way that you wanted to manifest them, don't tell anybody yet. All right. Clarify balance for the collective. All right. All must have prizes. Trying to please everyone. Okay. Be careful trying to please everyone. I know you guys, you guys could be a Libra. I'm also getting something about cancer. The unknown descent momentum and change. Yeah. Just be careful trying to please everybody. Okay. Or this person, this person um, tried to please everybody. Resilience, experience, growing stronger and fresh perspectives. Someone here is no longer in the energy of trying to please their friends and family members. However, it could still be too late. Messages for a rabbit service to the animal world out here. Yeah, it's like um, you guys are ready. You guys are being called for something. So you guys can't even pay attention to whatever this person is doing here. But Spirit is definitely saying that this person is receiving karma for doing this to... Uh, very authentic person. They were doing this to one of God's chosen. So it's like they're, they're stuck now. They were definitely distracted by friends and family members, okay? So this is your guys' reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.